It's a momentous day here at CBS Television City, and not just because the commissary is serving fajitas. Today, the staff of The Late Late Show with James Corden will attempt to join the annals of sports history by predicting the winner of this weekend's Kentucky Derby. We have 20 staffers, each representing one of the 20 horses competing this weekend. Whoever crosses the finish line first will win the Kentucky Derby. There are the members of the Late Late Show band prepping for the big race. There's guitarist Tim Young in what is the only known footage of him in formal wear. There's Lawrence Dye, who, as the newest writer on staff, felt he couldn't say no to being in this bit. There's Diane from Legal Affairs, punching the numbers on how much a potential workplace injury lawsuit could cost the show. There's Jenna Nolan, who is just now remembering she forgot to take her allergy medicine today. There's writer Nate Fernald attempting to get inside the head of his opponents. There's the man himself, James Corden, who is just hoping not to fall off his horse in front of his entire staff. It's the call to the post. We are just moments away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the writers have all taken their mark. This is what it all comes down to. the rest of the staff seems to be struggling to get their footing. It's a slow start for my boy Jack and his writer James Gordon, who sounds as giddy as a schoolgirl. Many riders appear to be struggling just to stay on their horses. At the top of the stretch, it's Vino Rosso by a mile. Oh, and down goes Bramath with his horse Bravazzo from what looked like a cheap shot from Gordon. Guillermo is beginning to come alive now as he pulls ahead of the pack on the bend. And there's Diane Robertson trailing far behind in dead last. And down the stretch they go. And it's music coordinator Jenna Nolan winning by 15 lengths with her horse, Vino Rosso. What an exciting day at this completely accurate prediction at what will most definitely happen at this weekend's race. 